Hey, and welcome back to the stream. Um, thank you, Miss Meow. I hope everybody's had a super duper day. Um, we are back at the swamp. Girl, Snow Shit has done her time here. Snow Shit and Spark Plug have both done their time at the swamp. Okay, it's time to get them the fuck out of here. We gotta get them out. We gotta get them out. And, uh, baby shitlet. She's got to go, too. They've got to get out. Thank you, Chrissy. Um, so, luckily for our girls over here, Snow White actually has a cottage that she left to come live at the swamp. So, we're gonna move into her cottage because ain't nobody else is living in it, so we might as well go live in it. Uh, Snow Shit, wake up. We're moving. So we're gonna go ahead and move. Oh, I don't know what I just pulled up. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and move. Thank you, Unicorn Farts. But hello, hello, hello. Thank you, Brain Dead. Okay, let's, um, how do I? Hmm, I might have to go into Managed Worlds to do this because I always forget how to do it down here. So let's go into Managed Worlds so we can just go ahead and slide them over to their new place. And then, after we get them in their own place, I think what we're going to do is invite Mohawk Doctor to come stay with us for him to have his baby. Thank you, Sailor, for subscribing. I'll be following you back and sending you my mods list after the live. Thank you, Rachel. Okay, so let's go into... We're going to move them out. Do, 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 do. So, create a new household. We are going to move out Snow Shit, her baby Shitlit. We're going to move out Spark Plug because she's got to get out of there. We're going to transfer like 250k. Nothing nothing serious. <laughs> nothing serious. He. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll move them out. And then we're going to move them. Oh, wait. Where the hell did I just put them? Thank you, Alyssa, for subscribing. Thank you, Little Cinnamon, for the rose. Okay. Let's move them into Snow White's cottage right here. So cute. Awesome. We're going to move them there. And then we're also going to bring with us Mohawk Doctor. Now we got to find Mohawk Doctor. Lord. So a little lore on Mohawk Doctor really quick. Thank you, Taylor, for the hand heart. Um, a little lore on him. So I went and checked out his family because I've never really... Uh, look at look at the update on these babies over here. Anyways, we're selecting a different household. Um, I never really gave a fuck enough to look for Mohawk Doctor's family before, but I went and found them, and I was like, whoa, he has a whole family. Um, I don't know where they are though. We gotta find them. We gotta find these hoes. Oh, they're right there. Okay, so he has several children he has um actually let's just bring them into create assembly really quick so we can just see them all together thank you m for subscribing so this is mohawk doctor his real name is mohawk doctor because i can't say that thank you carissa um so this is mohawk doctor in his casual attire i guess what's his regular outfit apparently his goal in life is to live a beach life. He's a child of the islands. He's good, and he's a bookworm. Slay. Thank you, Carissa. Thank you, Miranda. He has three children. Well, he's currently prego, but other than him being prego right now, he has three children, okay? We have um, Soren, which... Are you supposed to tell me that I'm not supposed to have a crush on him right now? Anyways, he has Soren, he has Luciano, and he has Gilbert are his children's names. So luckily, um, Soren appears to be old enough that he can watch his younger siblings while we borrow Mo Mohawk Doctor for him to have his baby with us, okay? Thank you, Unicorn Fires, for Boo the Ghost. So we're going to move him in with us to have this baby briefly. And then we'll give him back to his kids after. And we'll probably give him his alien baby back too. Anyways, hee 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 hee. 
Um, who got him pregnant? Apparently, thank you, Forrest, for the hanging lights. Apparently, he got abducted by a damn alien. Apparently. Who can we match with Mohawk Doctor's oldest? That's what I'm saying. I was like, hold up. Hold up. Wait, when did his wife die? So apparently, last night on live, we witnessed his wife die, but I didn't know that was his wife. And then, um, uh, one of my followers commented on my story and was like, um, didn't we watch his wife die? And I was like, what? And then I went back and I was like, oh shit, we did. What does it say his wife even died from? What was the cause of death, sir? Oh, wait. Hold on. Soren, the lore gets deeper. The lore gets deeper. Yes, Elise, outside of the club. Yes, Joy, literally. Okay, um, so, hold on. I thought that Soren didn't really look that much like him. I didn't know that's not even his son. So now he's having to raise his dead wife's son. It says she's deceased. She was consumed by the mother. What the hell does that mean? Thank you, Lemon Fox. Thank you, M. Thank you, Lemon Fox, again for the tiny dinies. Um. Um. What does that mean? What does consumed by the mother mean? Anyways, um, who's his daddy? Oh, the game said you ain't- Hold up! Soren's genealogy gets even more intense. He's got another little half-sister, Phoenix. He's got- his daddy is Mark. And he's married to Amelia. So I guess his daddy just said, sorry about it. You're just gonna have to stay with Mohawk Doctor. You know what, Mohawk Doctor, you are a saint. Because you're still raising your stepson. I love that. I love that. Um. What I heard is he's single and needs a new wife. No, literally. Literally. Thank you, pretty little psycho. And unicorn farts and M. Um, so yeah, that's the lore. Oh, his glowing belly. Welcome, I have never played. It says weird weight gain. Mohawk Doctor has put on quite a few pounds. Surely this is just a phase. Sir, let's be so fucking for real. This is not just a phase. You are pregnant. You are pregnant as hell. Um, okay, so house tour. We're probably gonna have to change some things about the house because, you know, now it's them living here and not, uh... Not Snow White. But anyways, house tour. So here's the house. This was Snow White's cottage, but now it's Snow Shit's cottage. Um, they have like a little room in here. Not really much in this room. And then, oop, 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 oop. Um, got a cute little room right here. Dining room. There's enough chair. Ooh, I like that there's already a high chair. Excellent. Thank you, little cinnamon, for the gamer cat. Um, upstairs. That's definitely gonna be Snow Shit's bedroom. We've got the baby's room set up, and then there's two empty bedrooms. This is an empty bedroom, and this is an empty bedroom, so we're gonna have to set up Spark Plug's bedroom at some point, but honestly, she's just gonna have to tough it out for right now, because I have bigger fish to fry. I want to see this alien baby be born, so I have to prepare for it first. First things first, we need a birthing tub. Um, tub. Thank you, Taya. Thank you, Unicorn Farts. Okay. I'm gonna, before Sparkplug gets to have this as her room, it's gonna be my birthing room. Sorry, Sparkplug. Mohawk Doctor is about to pop his doc ussy in this pool. Thank you, Stacy, for subscribing. I'll be following you back and sending you my mods list after the live. Okay, we're gonna put that right there. And then he needs a little yoga ball to bounce on. Yoga ball. Yoga ball. We're gonna put that right there and it's perfect great he 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 I'm so excited um look at auntie spark plug taking care of the baby you're too good to us too good too 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 good okay what is oh not his little hold up hold up where are you at that belly that oh 
I'll give you a minute. I'll give you a, uh, I'll give you a minute. Thank you, Evie. Thank you, Nearly Mermaid. Thank you, Miranda. Um, that belly does not lie. That belly does not lie at all. Let's, here's what we're gonna do. First of all, we need to change his trimester. Well, can we call the OB? I have no idea if you can even call the OB for an alien pregnancy. This is my first time, y'all. This is a unique situation. I was not expecting his wife to die and then, yeah, we wanna do a home birth, please. Yeah, that's what we wanna do. Thank you, he said, aw, yeah, Mohawk doctor. Thank you, Taylor. Thank you, Evie, for subscribing. Um, we are nine away from 250. Look at him emptying the trash right before I was gonna tell him to. Okay, okay. Thank you, Erica. Okay, so, do I wanna put him into labor right this second? I wanna look at who he's attracted to. Oh no, look at his thing about Yumiko. This was, this was his wife. He perceived her as very attractive. They were soulmates and it's his deceased spouse. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be hard finding him a new Yumiko. That was his girl. She was a goofball, she loved the outdoors, she was ambitious, an overachiever, a little socially awkward girl. Rest in peace, Yumiko. Um, rest in peace. I'm so sorry that uh, this happened. Anyways. Oh, what was I looking at? I forgot. I'm supposed to be seeing if he finds anybody else attractive. Um, well, he doesn't really know anybody else. Apparently, he basically just knows us. Uh, okay, well, maybe we'll take him to the club at some point. But today we're gonna worry about having his little baby. Um, so let's go ahead and put him into labor. <laughs> pregnancy, see it says, he, his partner for this pregnancy, it says senior pollination technician number three. It says he's having one female baby. Right now he's in his second trimester, but obviously I'm about to put him into labor. He, 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 he. Thank you Kayla for subscribing. Um, let's go ahead oh gee i'm so late what did i miss sorry to make you repeat you haven't missed anything we have mohawk doctor staying with us at snow shit's new place we're about to put him into labor and have this alien baby before i can move on with my life okay let's go ahead and put him into labor phase and labor i'm doing it i don't give a fuck i'm doing oh my god stand up so we can see the bump get let's change into something to where i can actually see what you look like Dresser, change outfit, uh, I guess your little exercise outfit. I, stand up so I can see what you look like. It's gonna be okay, you know, oh, don't, this is, stand up means stand the fuck up. Thank you, brain dead. Thank you, Miranda. She's like, see, it's your turn, Mohawk doctor. It's your turn. He's not... Yo, what? <laughs> oh my god, that thing is a P. That is a whole shape of a P. Oh my god, sir, that bump is bumping. Thank you, Morgan. Thank you, uniform farts. Um, sir, you might have to have a C-section because I'm wondering where the hell this is coming out of. Good lord, are you having a 15-pound baby? You got 10 aliens in there? Are you having a litter? Because what is that? Oh my god. You know what? Pregnancy is beautiful, Mohawk Doctor, and I'm sorry I'm being judgmental. That's my fault. That's my fault, okay? That's my fault. Thank you, Carly. Okay, here's what we need to do. We need to start the home birth. Go ahead and start it. Don't pick up a book. Now's not the time to read. Now is the time to bounce on the yoga ball. Because I don't know what exactly you're dilating, but you better hope it dilates. That's all I'm gonna say. So now he done started the- come up here. We're gonna exercise. I would say we're gonna try to get the baby out the way we got it in, but I'm not quite sure how we got the baby in. So, just come up here and we're gonna hope for the best. Mohawk Doctor, you have been there for us every single time. What does it say? It says, whoa, he's scared. It says, whoa. Oh, that's a lot. He can feel his anxiety going through the roof as his water breaks. 
Um, can I read this? Good lord. Uh, as much as he can't wait to meet his child, he realizes he's not emotionally ready for this process. This is too much and too fast. Um, you're gonna have to be emotionally ready, sir. You're gonna have to be emotionally ready. We're emotionally ready. Uh, ooh! Bring it around town. Lord. He's trying his best, and I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that. No, you're gonna have to do it more than once. Mohawk Doctor, you done been down this road with us before. Thank you, Emma. That's how he got that baby in there. I want to know what that alien did to him to get him pregnant. I want to know if he was involved, which I don't think he was. He has no other romantic interactions with anybody. Um, I want streaming mode to be off. I feel like we need to see where this baby comes out. Lord, he got probed. Oh, Lord Jesus. We need to call the midwife after he gets done bouncing on this. Um, I think we definitely need a another professional here for this situation. Oh, look at this sister sharing a bed. I love sister love. That's so cute. So cute. Anyways, meanwhile, Mohawk Doctor is over here fighting for his life. Thank you, Shay. Did you see if he's a guy? Yeah, he's a guy. He is 100% dude. Um, he's just having an alien pregnancy. Um, unfortunately for him. Sorry, Mohawk Doctor. What does it say? It says contraction pain. They're definitely uncomfortable but manageable. Okay. You know, not bad for your first, uh, cramping like this. How did this even happen? I wasn't there when it happened, but apparently he got abducted by an alien at some point. He shows up to our house pregnant as fuck. I about had a stroke. I wasn't ready for this shit. It just got laid on me. I didn't, this was not on my uh, bingo board for yesterday. I didn't ask him, okay? Listen, I don't know how these people get pregnant. I'm just here. Thank you, Kendrick, for the hanging lights. Thank you, Elmi, for subscribing. We are seven away from 250. Um, sir, I can't keep watching you on this ball. I need you to hurry up. It's two o'clock in the fucking morning. We need to hurry up and have- Oh, we have a stinky baby. Snow shit, get up. Your baby stinks. We need to go, um, wake up the baby. Thank you, Lachey. It says your midwife will arrive shortly. Good. We need her. Next thing's next. You need to go on a walk, sir. We're trying to dilate your- Coochie, I guess. I don't know what we're doing, actually. We're doing something. Thank you, Larissa. So we're waking up the baby in here. She needs a little bath. And we need, let's see. Give Shitlit a bubble bath. Like, look how disgusting. She's got, like, the green fungi coming off of her. Ugh. Ugh. I wonder if he's about to poop this baby out. If he's about to have, like, a poop baby. Like, I want to know what's it even dilating right now. But he's walking. He's walking around. He's doing great. Um, there's going to be a lot of questions from the midwife. Well, you know he probably works with the midwife at the hospital. She's probably like, what in the flip-flop is going on here? Oh, girl, don't stand out here too long. You'll be dead. You will be dead. Can you check our dilation, though, girl? Because we called you over here for a reason. Thank you, Miss Meow, for the cat paws. She said, I don't want to do this, y'all. She said, listen, Lucio, I did not ask for this today. This is not what I wanted. I can't see the bottom of your screen. Oh, you're right as fuck. It is, like, zoomed. Hold on, hold on. We're going to fix this. Thanks for pointing it out, because I didn't even notice. Hold on. I have to, like... If I could see where the fuck the do do do, woo! I'm glad somebody pointed out because I would have never known. Anyways, they better pay her real good for this visit. She's like, how in the fuck? How uh? She's like, hold on, I gotta look something up real quick. No 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 no. Don't help her out either. Go check on the- no, don't check on the baby. We want you to check on the dilation, please. Please and thank you. Thank you, Unicorn Farts. Thank you, Emma. 
I need y'all hurry up and go inside because you're stressing me out. I cannot handle the baby dying today. Or not the baby dying. <laughs> I can't handle Mohawk Doctor dying today. The baby's heart rate is slightly higher. That This means they're getting an adequate oxygen supply. You're so strong and you're doing great. Okay. He said. All right. All righty. Girl, come back. She's really running away. She does not want to check our dilation. Thank you, Emma. Thank you, Miranda. She literally does not want to check our dilation, bitch. You will check our dilation. You will do it. We call Not her- No! You're not gonna read our books! Check our dilation, girl! That's what we need. That's what we need is for you to check our dilation. She doesn't know what's dilating either! Uh-uh. He's like, please check my dilation. Check it. She's like, okay. I'll try. I gotta know, is he about to bend over or like, what's about to happen? <laughs> They're just sitting. Oh. Uh. <laughs> um. I'm scared. What's she got to say? She said, you are five centimeters dilated. Remember to stay calm. Uh. <laughs> Okay. She looks so upset. She looks so upset. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, we need you to go for a walk. Cause I'm trying to get dilated, homie. Go on a walk, and then New Year's Eve. I don't have time for a holiday right now. Did you just see my hot doctor? I didn't see nothing. I saw what y'all saw. They didn't teach her this in med school. We'll be getting him in the pool once he's fully dilated. He's over here checking his phone, walking around. You're doing great, Mohawk Doctor. Um, Y'all remember that time we locked the entire family in the other swamp and um, forced them all to watch Shrekunzel give birth in a pool in the middle of the house? Or is that just me? Am I the only one who remembers that? Because I think about it at least five times a day. He needs a trampoline to jump on. LOL. Oh, don't piss yourself now. Oh, if I didn't have UI cheats, um, then I don't know what I would do. Maybe he's secretly a girl. No, he is a man. He is for sure. Oh, he said, I'm going to take a splash. Are you okay in there? Sir, in the snow is not the time to swim. In the snow and in labor, not the time to swim. Bad idea. Bad idea. Will the alien baby be blue? I don't know. Invite everyone and lock them in. Oh, hell no. I can't, I can't uh, do Mohawk Doctor like that. He don't want that. Uh, but that was hilarious when we did it for Shrekunzel. Because, so what happened was, if you weren't there for that episode, Shrekunzel was having her baby. She had just gotten married to Farkley, was in a bad relationship as it was, and he's already not paying attention to her or whatever. She has a baby shower, right? Invites all her family. Nobody brings her a present to the baby shower, okay? So you know what we did? We put her into labor and then locked everybody in the small house with her and made them all, we took, there was no bathroom for anybody to use. Everybody was like pissing on themselves. Uh, all stuck in the same house and uh, oh yeah Shrek Shrek was the only person who brought her a gift and he was like paying attention to her but yeah she literally everybody was stuck in that small small swamp pissing and shitting on themselves and having to watch her coochie dilate until she had baby Shrekly as punishment for not bringing um, her gift Michaela said how do you know it was with an alien alien um because when I click on here and go to pregnancy, it says the partner for the pregnancy was the senior pollination technician number three, which we, in the origin of the pregnancy was an alien abduction. That's how I know. <laughs> which is crazy. Oh yeah, and there was a death. The freaking, so one of our baby daddies, his wife, because you know, it was an affair. One of his, one of our baby daddy's wife, it was Bajorn. 
Bajorn's wife was there. She was the chef for the baby shark. So she was just like collateral damage being um, trapped in the family reunion birthing incident. And she did something. She was like complaining or something. And then Granny Wolf showed up in ghost form and she fucked her up. She took a grilled cheese and like literally like choked her out with it. And then she died in the house. So then we had a body in the house, too, that we were having to deal with. Yeah, that was Clara that died. Anyways, rest in peace, Clara. Um, ooh, bouncy, bounce, bounce. I wonder if we're getting close to being at 10 centimeters dilated. I'm gonna try bouncing on one more time and then getting his dilation checked again. Tee Have we checked on Granny's baby? I feel like I just saw one of her babies the other day. First of all, her kids are also werewolves, and they stay running around terrorizing everybody. Every time I see her kids, I wish I didn't. It's always a bad time. Literally every single time. First of all, they're ugly. And then second of all, they're unruly. They're menaces to society. Did the comment ever hit Clara? It better have. Can we make this go faster? Listen. Birth goes as fast as it wants to go. We don't have no Pitocin at the house. Thank you, Clint. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Sarah, for the high bear. Okay. If we can, if it, the pool says we can give birth, yeah, he's still not fully dilated. Try again. Keep bouncing on the ball. He's got to be close, though, because when we checked last time, I think it was like um, five centimeters. She's over here. What's your problem? Oh, her boobies are swollen. It says breast engorgement. Snow shit is feeling restless after neglecting to pump milk for a while. Girl, why are you not taking care of your tatas? Why am I getting notifications about your boobs hurt? Oh, now Shrekunzel wants to call. Shrekunzel Quad's calling to chat. Want to answer? Go ahead. Also, I don't know if I told y'all or not. I freaking, ooh, I just noticed you got some carpet arms. I mean, I like it, but I never noticed that before. But anyways, I updated um, Eugene's tower. I did. Why are y'all eating hot dogs outside, just mustard on them, on New Year's, a Saturday at 10 o'clock in the morning with snow outside when you're supposed to be taking care of Mohawk Doctor? And what really upsets me is um, Mohawk Doctor always takes care of everybody else. And where's everybody else when he's looking like this? Mohawk Doctor, are you okay? Are you okay? It's a theme meal. <laughs> Not the hot dogs for the man giving birth. Lord. He's got to be getting close, though. He's got to be getting close. Oh, he can have the baby. Let's have the baby. Snow shit, get up here. You don't want to miss this. Spark plug, you come too. Thank you, Katie, Mandy, and Morgan. Whose house is this? This is Snow Shit's new house. He's pregnant? Well, he's about to not be. She's standing up here. She's like, I'm cold. We'll put some clothes on. Damn. Let's put some clothes on her. Um, change outfit. Okay, Mohawk Doctor, come have your baby. Oh, he's like asking the midwife. He's like, would you mind? Uh, joining me. Thank you, Barbie. Thank you, Little Cinnamon. Thank you, Morgan, for sending the glizzies. <laughs> Not the hot dogs on the day that he's about to... It, like, I'm worried about his hot dog, actually. How is he pregnant? He got abducted by an alien. And then his wife got... murdered Outside the club, whenever Sparkplug was tripping. Didn't I tell y'all to come in here and watch this? I feel like I did. Girl, get up here. Why'd he get out? Oh, you had to change into something a little bit, a little looser. They sent us an intern. It says he has learned that she is an intern. Um, I feel scared right now. I don't know what's about to happen. I feel very scared. I gotta take a photo. Okay. Wait, hold on. Pause. Can can Sparkplug like join him? Can she like yeah, Sparkplug, can you sit down here with him? Can you just um can you just be a friend? Can we phone a friend? Yeah, I think that's better. Oh, I need you to get your plum bob out of the way too. Hold on, I'm trying to watch this. We'll put it the plum bob over her head. Anyways. He's stressed the fuck out. 
He is stressed out. Oh God, he's face. Okay, are you okay? Are you okay, Mohawk Doctor? I'm scared for you. I'm so scared right now. Did he choose unmedicated? Apparently. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Oh. It seems so beautiful with a woman, but it seems so <gasps> he's had his baby girl. We are going to name her Stethoscope. Okay, come on, baby Stethoscope. Uh, a baby is born. Oh my goodness! How did that happen? Is she purple? Um, I don't think so. But honestly, with this mod, sometimes the babies look one color and then you put them in the crib and they look a different color. So I wouldn't, um... Oh my god, it has a crazy cry because it's an alien. It's an alien baby. It's a green baby! Baby stethoscope, you're green! With weird ears! And weird eyes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ugh, it's scared! It's really scared! Hey baby stethoscope! You're our first alien baby! Um... Her little feet are cute. Thank you, Miss Meow. Thank you, Miranda. Thank you, Sammy. Are we not gonna talk about our outfit? Where'd you get this outfit? Who put this on you? Is this your skin? What is this? Look at this little alien baby. Good lord. That was a terrifying experience, but I'm glad that we all just experienced- We can send her back to the home world? Or say she's so cute? Question mark? Yeah, go call your new- well, she's not your sister or anything, but Stethoscope, you know, is basically part of this family now. Thank you, Courtney, for the rose. Age that baby up right now. I want to keep her. How are we going to send Mohawk Doctor back home with this baby now? I want her. I literally want to keep her. You know, you think it would be too much for a uh, Mohawk Doctor to keep this baby? You think we should take this for him? I guess we gotta see what she looks like all grown up. And then age her back down into a infant. Let's see what the baby looks like all aged up. Hee hee hee. Can you look at what the mom looks like? Um, let's try to see what the mom looks like. Her name is Senior Pollination Technician Number 3. She's green. That's all we can see. She's some green alien lady. Hmm. I want to keep her. I literally want Stethoscope to stay in our family. But it is Mohawk Doctor's baby. You can adopt the baby? Huh. Maybe Sparkplug should adopt her. Maybe that's what they're talking about right now. Maybe Sparkplug should be the one that adopts her. Because, you know, she's green. The baby's green. It'll look like that's basically her baby. Oh, the baby's on the floor. Hold on. We have to go into full edit mode. Create a sim. Dot full edit mode. Okay. Sparkplug can adopt her. Yes, that would be perfect. I think we should. Okay, that's gonna be great. We're keeping stethoscope. Well, Sparkplug is keeping stethoscope. And then I think, you know, she can see uh, Mohawk Doctor. Have Mohawk Doctor move in the household. We gotta move him back to his kids. He has other kids that he's gotta take care of. This baby was not part of the plan. So here's baby stethoscope. She kind of slays. She's terrifying, but adorable at the same time. I really like her, you know? She's beautiful. Anyways, let's see what she is all aged up. She is an alien. Okay, are y'all ready? One, two, three. Ooh! Oh my god! Bitch! Oh, she slays. Oh, she slays. Her ears aren't pointy. Yeah, I don't know what the hell happened to her ears when she aged up. 
But she slays. Click on her disguise. This is her disguise. She slays. I love her. I love her. Oh my goodness. I missed it. Was it a C-section? Uh, terrifyingly? No, it was not. It was not a C-section at all. Um, I don't know what exactly went down, but it, he pooped it out. So, anyways, let's go back down to a baby. And we gotta put some... Girl, we can't just leave you in this little alien diaper. Well, I guess we could. Is Can we put hair on you? Or are you just bald? I mean, we could put hair on her. I feel like she needs little hair. That's kind of cute. Does she have a baby disguise? Yes. This is her baby disguise. Let's do some hair. Let's have some little baby hair. And, um, a little baby outfit for your disguise. That's cute. Very cute. And then your regular self. Let's, um, I guess... For your regular self, for your first outfit, we'll leave you in your little diaper. And then for your second outfit, we'll do just something very baby-like. Like this. Or maybe the yellow. Is the yellow cute? I think that... Ooh, do the space buns? That's a good idea. Space buns for space baby stethoscope. Do, do, do. Baby stethoscope is everything I could have wanted in an extraterrestrial baby. I don't know what I want to put her in. I love all of these little outfits. This is very cute. Maybe we should just do this. Yeah, this is cute. Cute! That'll be her other outfit. Oh my goodness! Stethoscope, you're so perfect! You're a gr Oh wait, she can't have this hair. That's the same hair as Shitlet. Damn it. Oh, wait. You're not supposed to have this hair anyways. You're supposed to have the space buns. Anyways. Perfect. Okay. Now we need to move. Um, she's a winter wear. I'm sure she's, she's got one. It'll just be random as hell. Um, We need to move Mohawk Doctor back to his um, his place. Same hair as who? As Shitlit. That's Snow Shit's baby. Little baby Shitlit. Where you been? Thank you, Tori. Thank you, Courtney. Thank you, Sammy. Um. Yeah, you gotta go back home now, Mohawk Doctor. We're moving him back to his other kids. Sorry. Stethoscope's our baby now. Love ya, though. Thank you, Yesenia. Thanks for the baby, Dr. Mohawk. <laughs> He looks traumatized because he is. I don't even know how that baby just came out, but it did. So, yeah, these are his kids. Well, technically, that oldest one isn't his, but it was his wife's before his wife died. Anyways, let's move um him back. Thank you, Greta, for the paper crane. Um, yeah, let's move him back. Thank you, Mohawk Doctor. See you later. Thank you for our new baby. Oh, amazing. Thank you, Brain Dead. Uh, yeah. Cute. Now we have this new baby. I've been wanting a new baby. Excellent. Also, look how old Shrumple's daughter is getting. She's getting grown over there. Do y'all want to see Shrumple's daughter an update on her? First of all, you're not supposed to be that old. Sometimes I have to age down my sims because they think they're going to age up on me. Hell no, you're not. Anyways, look at Shrumple's daughter. She's so cute. She slays. And she has magic powers. Like Shrumple. I love that. Anyways. She's so pretty. Yeah, I know. She's literally so freaking adorable. Anyways, moving on. Back to the house. Um, we need to invite over Kristoff because we have some unfinished, uh, business. You can turn off the automatic aging in case you didn't know. Yeah. See, I like it and I don't like it. Sometimes I like that they automatically age up and other times I'm like, no. So I just, like, randomly, um, age them back down when I want to. I wanted 
a new baby is if you don't have multiple every single day. Listen, we love babies around here. I love our new baby. We've never had an alien baby before. This is our first one. Look at how cute she is. She's perfect. Oh, I forgot this is supposed to be Sparkplug's room. And, um, we just had a baby in it. Thank you, Taya. Thank you, Morgan. Um, but that's not what's important right now. We'll worry about her room later. We need to call over Kristoff because we kind of, like, got in a little mini fight with Kristoff. Well, not really fight, but his feelings are hurt because, um, he wanted us to live with him. And we said no. But now we have our own place. So make Sparkplug adopt her. I'm gonna have to figure out how exactly I'm gonna do that. We can definitely, here, I think we can click on her and like baby care, adopt as care dependent. So, and then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it to where, oh, there's Kristoff. It says Sparkplug is now a caregiver of stethoscope. This means uh, she has a responsibility towards her and whatever, whatever. Thank you, Morgan. Thank you, Unicorn Farts, for the hand heart. Um, so he's here. Let's go introduce him to... No, I wanted to introduce him to our new baby. Whatever. Ooh, we should go talk to him about marriage. Because you know what? I think Snow Shit is going to want to get married. Thank you, KSW, for the heart me. Oh, bitch, you can leave. We don't actually need you here. Spark plug, come tell this lady to leave. Um, dismiss her. Thanks for our baby. Baby stethoscope. I love her. She gives alien slay. Look at her baby. Oh my goodness. She's so cute. Wow. She's perfect. Um. Where's Kristoff? He's in the house. Should we go somewhere private with him? Well, actually, no, I don't have time because I really want, I want them to talk and, like, make up a little bit. And then I want Shrekunzel, before this episode is over, I want Shrekunzel to see all of the work that uh, Eugene has been putting in. Thank you, Mandy. So they're over here flirting a little bit. Let's, um... We'll give him some keys to our- Oh, that's a- Somebody said a few minutes ago, they were like, give him residence keys. Yes, that's exactly what we're gonna do to make it up to him. The fact that we we're like, we're not ready to live together. And we're gonna apologize. Like, sorry we hurt your feelings, Kristoff. It's not even like that. Uh, we just, you know, we had a lot going on that day. But we still really like you, and we're really glad that you're our boyfriend. And of course he's super nice about it, because he's freaking Kristoff. Um... What else? Let Don't propose. Let's do a little flirt. And let's, um, affection, physical intimacy. Let's give him a little kiss on the cheek. And then we're switching to Shrekunzel. Aw, so cute. So perfect. I'm glad everything's working out over here. Don't forget it's New Year's Eve. I don't give a damn about New Year's Eve right now. I got bigger fish to fry. We just welcomed baby stethoscope into the world. You know, it might be, maybe Shrekunzel will celebrate New Year's Eve. I mean, it is a holiday, I guess. Um, Heather said, bless, he's too precious for this world. No, literally. He's literally too freaking sweet. Like, I want him. Um... Let's go to Shrekunzel. Now, I don't know how she's going to feel about the fact that Eugene went and redid his whole place for her. Because she hasn't said that she wants to move in. You know, she's been living in her apartment for a little bit. Thank you, Pickle, for the roses. Okay, we're back at 19 Culpepper House. Our girl, our queen, who, our divorced queen who's doing so well. Look at Shrekly on his little computer. That computer is important to him. He loves playing on his little computer. Um, but we need to go over, because Eugene... Well, let's text him first. Let's send him a little texty text. Send him a happy text. And then let's see how she's feeling about Farkley here lately. Um... Says he's still in the military. He's a slob, but he's ambitious. Okay, whatever. Um, 
They have no sentiments towards each other anymore. They're divorced, and it's super awkward. Okay, great. Anyways. Um, she's sending him a little text before we go over there. Great. So glad you did that. Let's move on. He said, I agree, Shrekunzel. It's a great day. Let's go out and enjoy the day. Ugh, he wants to go to the park first. All right. Well, oh, he probably wants to go to the park because she has a kid. He's so damn thoughtful. He's so thoughtful. Because that was so sweet. Let's go to the park. We'll go to the park first. Um, oh my god, it's a blizzard. It's a blizzard at the park. Why would you bring us here? Okay, Shrekly, go play on the, the playground. Go play pirate on this shit. Thank you, Bailey. Thank you, Brain Dead. Um, thank you for uploading your stream so quickly lately. I'm trying. I'm trying my best. I'm a, like, basically, I'm trying to like upload them immediately after the stream. It just takes like a couple hours because, you know, it's long as fuck. Anyways. Oh, she burnt herself. What are you making? Have y'all seen that post that's going around right now because it's been so cold this week? Where it's like a Facebook post and it's like, I would hate to be a chili bean this week. That about took me out when I saw it because I was like, no, because why was I planning on making chili this week? What is this? Three sisters chili. I knew it was going to be chili. I knew it was going to be chili. When are you going to do a Jack and Sally live? Probably around Christmas time. I'll do like a, a Jack and Sally update. Who is this over here? Where is Eugene? You know, we're just going to his house, because I don't even know where he is. He's probably walking through. Look at all these people trying to... Bajorn! Bajorn, you're going to die out here in this storm. Of all the things to take you out, it's going to be this blizzard, and I'm going to laugh. I'm going to laugh. Um, anyways, we're just going to go over to his place, because ain't no point in us dying over here in this blizzard in freaking um, Willow Creek or whatever. But he lives in Glimmerbrook, obviously in the tower. We're gonna go over here. We'll bring Shrekly with us, I guess. Sparkplug needs a spotlight. Sparkplug is making her way into the spotlight. We done gave her a baby today. Thank you, Pickle, for two tuck of the turkeys. Um, who's this lady? She's just walking away now. Okay, bitch. Anyways, welcome to the new in a can we go inside? Go knock on the door. Obviously we can go inside. This is her man's place. Anyways, thank you, Shawnee, for the love you. So welcome to the new and improved I don't know why she's in the bathroom. Go here. The new and improved um tower. So Basically, first of all, y'all, um, plan wedding event. No, we're not going to plan that yet. I feel like she should give him a little shrek you know, for this. But let's just go give him a little, um, a little kiss really quick. But the living room is pretty much the same. This little area got added in, and he put up some photos of him and shrek on the mantle. Um, the kitchen is pretty much the same. The dining room used to be over here, but now it's over here. Um, the bathroom got a little bit bigger. He set up her a little writing area over here since he knows that she's pursuing a career in writing. And then made their bedroom a little bit bigger so that she would have her own side of the bed. There is some protection sitting right there. Hee hee hee. Thank you, Bailey, for subscribing. Um, there's a little balcony that's attached to their bedroom right here. So they could, like, sit right there and, like, see, it's open right there. So they could just sit and look out on the balcony. And then you're probably thinking, what about her kid? What about her kid? Um, we set him up a little bedroom over here. And while it's not the biggest bedroom ever... It has his little uh, computer gaming system, um, some photos hung up, and a bunk bed right there. And a little, like, chair. And, it, I mean, if he moves in, we could add in more stuff and um, whatever. So, that being said, whenever Shrekunzel is ready to move in, 
The tower is ready for her. Now, no rush. There's no rush in her, you know. Look at how happy she is. You deserve this, bitch. And for those of y'all watching, all 900 of you, if you haven't found your Eugene yet, you will. You will. If you're in your Farkley phase right now, I'm sorry for you. I love you and I'm here. But one day, you will have your Eugene that will do some shit like this for you. Uh, not her saying she don't even like him like that. <laughs> Girl, um, give him an, ap an apartment key while you're over here. Um, she's the best thing to come out of this whole thing. I love her. Shrekunzel, honestly, I have found my Eugene. That's amazing. Um, I had too many Farkleys. I married my Eugene. Ah, I love that. Uh, when I first met Shrekunzel, I remember we were at the Poison Apple and she didn't want to, she didn't want to smoke the reefer with snow shit. And I remember being like, she looks like the type that would be with somebody like Bubble Bass from Spongebob. And I was not feeling Shrekunzel at first at all. I wasn't, I was not there for it at all. And now she's really grown on me. She's really grown on me, okay? Melody said, I married my Eugene 12 years. Chaotic Care Bear said, perpetual Farkley phase. <laughs> um, can we do a tower tour? My phone died. I just rejoined. I just did a whole tour. Um, I'll show you from like <laughs> zoomed out a little bit. It will be on YouTube later where I did like the whole full tour. But I was going to make it like two stories originally. But um, that wasn't working out. And I was cussing, and I was about to tear down the entire tower. But we made this happen, and now she's beautiful. We need more photos. Like, here, you need to take um, another photo with Eugene so we have more pictures to start hanging up places. Let's, um, where's the photo? Take photo with Eugene. And we need more pictures of your kid, girl. So are all of these on YouTube? Yes. Yes, they're all on YouTube. I'm a YouTuber too, now, too. Um, slowly but surely, I'm figuring out the YouTube thing. There were some hiccups in the beginning, but I've been getting a lot better at getting the YouTubes up and whatever. Okay, this slays. That's cute. Let's change the pose up. That's so cute. Another one. So freaking cute. Um... Another one. Cute and a silly one. Y'all are too uh, cute. Let Eugene take a photo with Shrekly. Okay. Let's get take a little a little photo, Shrekly. Take photo. He can't take it with him because he's not old enough yet. Look at are you just over here? Oh, he's making a little fire. Okay, making your little fire. I'm so, I don't know. You know what? You know what I think we should do? Since he did all of this, let's plan when their wedding's going to be. Well, don't plan it like that. Let's plan when their wedding is going to be. So today is Saturday in the game. Um, Her son's supposed to be aging up next Thursday. Let's plan her wedding. Should we plan it for tomorrow in the game? On a Sunday? Or we could do like a Tuesday. The weather is supposed to be good on this Tuesday. Let's do... Uh, maybe we should do tomorrow. Let's do tomorrow. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, let's do an event. We're going to plan a wedding. Okay, we have our bride and groom locked in. Okay, and then we're going to, for our guest, Shrek, what are you wearing? I swear I don't pick out these outfits for him. I have no fucking idea what he's wearing. Okay, let's invite Sparkplug, Snowshit, Shrekly, Shrek, Rapunzel, Farquifa, Grimace. I don't know these people. Doris, Bajorn, you thought. Um, Reba, Farkly. I know she knows more people than this. I guess Bajorn, you can come. We gotta figure out how to invite more people than that. And then we'll hire a caterer, hire a, um mixologist and then uh a musician to sure um and then where are we gonna have this wedding i almost want to have it at the swamp 
I almost literally want to have it at the swamp. Hmm. We could also do the park, some other places. Um, Bell's Cottage. Since when do we have Bell's Cottage? Sometimes there's shit in my game that I don't even remember is there. The swamp. Yes, let's have a swamp wedding. We've never gotten married at the swamp. So, fuck it, we're doing it. Let's have it for tomorrow at 4 p.m. We're about to see how a wedding is supposed to be done. Please and thank you. So y'all know what tomorrow night's live is gonna um, include. Is she inviting Farkley? Oh, for sure. He's gonna be jealous as fuck. And I'm gonna laugh. And I'm going to laugh. Will you be posting a streaming schedule every week like last week? So this week is kind of a busy week for me because I take my national registry test um for my advanced emt among a couple other things i'm pretty sure most days this week if not every single day this week i'll be live at 8 p.m but i don't want to post that because i'm not a thousand percent sure but i'm 97 percent sure it'll be every day this week at 8 p.m so that's basically scheduled but i'll keep updating it every single day on my page and my bio it'll say it um I hope that Farkley doesn't try, doesn't freaking try Fark, or that Farkley doesn't try Eugene, because, uh, I feel like Eugene would fuck him up. Chelsea said, I'm a paramedic, good luck lady. Thank you! Thank you guys for the good lucks on my test. I take it Wednesday. Wednesday at 11 a.m. I go and take my test, so, if I say I'm not doing a live Wednesday night, y'all know that I failed the shit out of that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching the live today. This will be up on YouTube in a couple of hours. I'll start uploading it right after this live. Everyone who subs who subscribed, I'll be following you back and messaging you my um, mods list. Uh, and yeah, have fun with you bitches, respectfully. <laughs> See you tomorrow night at 8.